Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome to my channel. Happy summer, I am so glad you're here. If you've never been here before, hi, welcome. Um, and if you liked around here, be sure to subscribe below. And if you're not new around here, thank you for coming back. So for today, I just figured it's Monday, it's my first Monday of summer, and you know, if you know me, you probably know, I went shopping on my last day of school because how else would I spend that? And so I got a few um, new skincare things and some new makeup and I thought um, it'd be a fun way to start off summer by doing like a little mini haul. So I guess the first thing I'll show you is something I did not buy recently. Well, no, I definitely bought this recently, but it's something I've started using more recently and that is the micellar cleansing water. I got one from the brand Garnier. I have always struggled with how I take my makeup off because I feel like I use like these really harsh like um, acne cleansers and then it's like it doesn't get my eye makeup off but you don't want to put those cleansers next to your eyes so this is really good for my eyes because they're really sensitive so I have been using this micellar water and then also what I bought um, last week to go with it is just some cotton pads and I use the micellar water just to kind of like take off lipstick and eye stuff eyebrows too and then I go in with my cleanser which I'll show you next I feel like I like low-key struggle with acne like if you're looking at my skin like it looks good it's just like I have lots of little problem areas and so for me it's something that I'm really trying to pin down but basically I've decided this summer I'm going to get my skincare routine together so first what I got was the Cetaphil um, cleanser for acne prone skin and it's like a foam wash and so far I'm really liking it. I hope that's how you say it correctly. <laughs> what I'm liking so far about this brand is it seems to really be made for sensitive skin too so usually when I get on a new like acne cleanser I feel like it always really dries on my skin and makes it really sensitive and it's hard for me because like I kind of have combination skin some of it's oily some of it's dry so this so far if you do struggle with like combination skin or acne I feel like this is really really nice and then to go with that I got the oil control moisturizer for acne prone skin this is interesting because it has SPF um, what's it have in it oh okay yes it does have SPF 30 so this basically like looks feels and smells like sunscreen but my skin's happy with it so far so I have been wearing this after using the cleanser and so far it's been really nice I also went to Lush because if we haven't already established this I am obsessed with Lush can't get out now. I put all my little things in a basket because I thought it was being cute. Anyways, um, so I bought the cup of coffee face mask from Lush because Daniel Carolyn and Kenzie Elizabeth and a couple of the YouTubers I watch have really, really been talking about it a lot recently. And it smells, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so look, see, I don't know if you can, can you tell? It's, got, it's basically like you're putting coffee grounds on your face. It smells so good. If you like the smell of coffee, you're gonna love this. And what the girl at the store was telling me, some people use it like as their morning cleanser and they like put it on their skin for 10 minutes, they washed off. I did that the other day. It was so fun. It smells good. It just makes you feel awesome. And then I gave it to my mom to borrow and I like put it on her face. Um, that's in my previous vlog, my girl's night in. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to check that out. But um, my mom was like obsessed too. So if you're looking for something fun to treat yourself, the small one is just $10 and I'm pretty sure this will last me at least a couple months, I'm hoping. Next time I probably will purchase one that'll last a little longer, but just for trying it out, I got the small one. So finally, my last two things from my little mini haul that I wanted to show you. These are makeup products. I went to the MAC store and I have only ever purchased MAC lipstick before. I have for so long really wanted to invest in like nice makeup because it's like, I don't know, I wear makeup every day, I like makeup, I think it's fun, and um, I like how it makes me look. So I finally decided to go, my mom helped me out and she took me to the MAC store and so I went and I got a foundation and a powder. So I got the MAC Pro Longwear foundation in the shade N8, or no, in the shade NW18. And so this is a little bit, you can kind of tell on camera, this is a little dark for me, but the hope is that I will get tanner this summer and the worst case I blend it with something else, but the goal is that I will kind of reach this shade. Basically blending does wonders and I have loved this so far. And then the powder I got, I got the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade a96 and so it just kind of comes in this cute little compact and then it's got a little sponge like you know like like powder does 
but I really really like these both. The cool thing I'm finding is that when I'm wearing them they're just staying on and it just looks really clean and fresh. Like when I look at my skin I just feel really confident and it's exciting. Like I think that you should invest in things that make you feel confident and that make you feel comfortable in who you are. Like I'm happy with who I am but it's always um a little extra fun to just know that your skin looks clean and fresh. I think they were definitely worth it. Plus, I know they're going to last a while and I will be using them all summer and then into my senior year. But yeah, these are just the products I purchased recently. Pretty much all of them I would recommend. I'm still on the cleanser, still trying to get a feel for it. I will say they've like, my skin's pretty clear right now. I hope you guys are liking the more frequent uploads. I have more time on my hands and I'm super just, I feel like I'm really inspired recently. I will be uploading. My goal for the summer is to upload Wednesdays and weekends and sprinkle in some vlogs too. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that now so that you can always be notified and just like see me in your subscription box. Also, if you like this, leave a thumbs up and I will I'll see you next time. Bye!